All right, here we got the Ozark Trail 40 to 60 degree Fahrenheit sleeping bag. Um, it is a Walmart product and it is three pounds. And as you can tell, friggin' huge. Um, look at that thing. Anyway, it is $16. That is the cheapest sleeping bag you can find. Um, it's not a sleeping bag I want to use, but it's 16 bucks. So anyway, my idea was I want a quilt. And of course I wanted the Jacks are Better Stealth Quilt, which is what, $249 for the 40 degree one. This is a 40 degree bag. And uh, $250 basically. And this is 15 So I'm going to convert this sleeping bag into a stealth quilt, or basically just a quilt. Um, because of the size of this, and for $16, I can cut it. I'm going to squeeze in the foot room a little, uh, make a foot box, and then I'm going to widen up at the shoulders. But because I'm cutting it exactly, I can make two quilts out of this. Uh, one for me, one for somebody else, or one for backup. It's still going to be pretty big. I mean, even if you cut this in half, I mean, take a look. It's still a decent size thing. Uh, but it's not in the compression sack right now, so I'm hoping after I get it cut down. Uh, it is three pounds to start with, but once I remove the tags and the zipper and everything else, I'm hoping to get it to at least 1.5 pounds, maybe a little less. And uh, that'll be my quilt. Open this baby up. Basically, since it's two feet nine inches wide, I'm going to take this end, measure in two feet, uh, mark it, and then I'm going to take the other end from diagonally the opposite side, measure two feet in, and mark it there. And I'm going to take a line and go straight across. That way, the diagonal line will be slightly wider at the top, slightly tighter at the foot box. Um, fold it in half, that'll give you about 12 inches of, you know, circular area-ish for your feet. and. Um, I'm going to do something really simple there, not make anything fancy for the foot box. And the shoulder area will be wider. So that way you get two exactly identical uh, quilts out of this. There it is. Completely cut in half. And the line goes roughly diagonally across. Our seam ripper. Let's detach that. So you pin it and then you cut it, and then you sew it. And here you can see my kind of bad sewing job. Pretty bad, but it works. All you gotta do is fold in the edges and get it. And here you can see the foot box. Cut uh, pieces of the elastic off of it, and just slap those right across there, and slap the longer one a little bit higher across. And that is the foot box. And that's the quilt. Completely easy to make. Uh, I've used it a few times since. It is warm enough. Um, I slept into it down to the 40s, maybe a little bit less, not much. And it was completely comfortable, uh, just with my sleeping pad under me inside a tent. Um, it was good. Uh, the problem is it's still too bulky for me. Uh, even at cut in half, it's still about two pounds in weight. Um, I don't know where all the extra weight came from, but it's still almost two pounds, which is less than my sleeping bag but it's the same bulkiness as my sleeping bag, so I'm not really saving anything there. I'd almost rather have the extra, you know, what is it, eight ounces just to have my sleeping bag and the comfortable design. But this one worked, and uh, I don't know, it's fine. It's cheap, it's easy, uh, it totally works. It's just the bulky, pack, the bulky factor just gets me. So I don't know how much I'm gonna be using it, but it is a good idea if you just want a cheap quilt. So it worked, and that's how it is. <laughs>